Hey, congratulations, Derek. To Thank your you. to your right. What's up? How are you, brother? I'm good. Um, obviously, you know you had to put up with all the hype, hearing about all the hype of him. Um, w does it feel better when you beat a guy where everybody, you know, he's almost a four to one favorite over you, and he's, you know, getting all that attention? Does it feel any better, or is it a win a win? Oh, yeah, no, it definitely feels better. You know, um, I had to get off social media all week. Um, I opened up my phone and I was just like kind of glass at it, turn away, went and reading no Facebook, no Instagram. You know, everybody was just, you know, you're going to get dog, you're going to get, you know, beat up real bad. I mean, it, I looked really good tonight. I got the finish, but um, let's not forget about what this kid done. You know, Tavares is no slouch. And he went out there and just put Tavares away with nasty combos and all his fights. He's just putting people away. So, you know, I'm just believing and trusting in what I've been doing lately. And, you know, that, that made the difference. He, he was going hard to your body. Uh, did he ever hurt you with any of the body shots? It seemed like one, you backed into the cage. No, I, I'm, I'm really elusive about getting hit when I want to. But um, he was catching me right at the end of the punches. I, I saw that early that he was going to try to go to the body. But I mean, I was I was okay with that because he has you know really good high kicks. I was kind of expecting that. So he definitely was uh, mixing up a little different than I thought he would come out. And you had said the other day that you know when you have a full camp that you're always the elite guy. I mean, do you feel like from this point forward now you're not going to take a fight if you have those ten days off? You have the flu in the middle. Like, will you skip those fights and and just fight only when you have the full camp given the results yeah you know um i'm not giving enough respect in this division you know and i'm okay with that you know I, i'm okay with earning it you know there's been fights when i had the flu you know i went to the doctor to you know nurse myself back to health and five days later the fight come up or i we had a hurricane in north carolina and i was home with the family making sure everything was okay and i had to fight you know 10 days after that so and i wasn't training for two weeks but nobody cares about the excuses but Whenever I have a fight, yes, I want to prepare properly and get a full camp in. And the guys down there with Henry Hoof and, and Sanford MMA, you know, they get me ready for these big fights. And my last question for you, I mean, you look above you in the division. I mean, it's one of the best divisions out there, and there's a lot of really good guys. Uh, so where do you think you fit in, and, and who do you, what's the strategy? Where do you go next? Yeah, we're going to sit, sit down and look at division. You know, uh, what, what, what's up with the BMF belt? You know, uh, that's out there. Um, yeah, guys in the division. You know, you have you have Till, you have Romance, and you have you have you have a lot of guys. You know, that surge on and have a huge name that can make for great fights. So we're gonna sit back, uh, take some time, and, and and keep this momentum going. Derek, right here. Did you think his corner should have let him out going into the third round? Yeah, it's funny, man. I'm hearing like the media uh, lately just saying, oh, they should have stopped the fight, but. There would be no such thing as a comeback if they just stop every fight. You know, uh, if guys want to go back, he looked a little defeated in the corner for sure. You know, he, he hasn't been pushed or tested, but uh, take nothing away from the kid. I mean, he looked great in his other fights. You know, you just had a guy who had a lot of fights and it's like I had enough of coming out, putting up, putting up bad fights and just stinkers. So, you know, I, re I was really locked in for this fight and make sure that I'm out there executing. Do you think these these matchups can obviously work out uh, for a prospect shooting up the rankings? But if they match them up with guys like you and you you do what you did today, do you think that could be a detrimental to their growth moving forward after uh, getting their first loss so violently on such a big stage? See, I don't I don't think I don't think MMA should be building like you look at NFL, NBA. If you're good, you play. Like there's no such thing as like MMA needs to stop building fighters up. Like, if you're good enough, you're good enough to fight. You fight whoever is close in the rankings, and you go out there and earn it. You know, there should be no favoritism or, oh, look at him. He's young. Like, yeah, if, if, you're, if you're earning your spot, yeah, fight somebody tough. Keep working your way up. He went out there and knocked Tavares out, and Tavares is no joke, you know. So, yeah, he, he earned this fight, you know, and everybody had me getting smoked until I go out here and get a victory. So, um, man, everybody got to earn their strike. So he, he earned the fight. And I went out there and earned the victory. Is that what you told him after I saw you kind of talking to him after the scorecard was, or the decision was read? Yeah, it's funny. You know, I've had wars and words with people, but I kind of watched his social media, you know, checked him out. And I, kinda, I actually liked the kid, you know. He seemed like a very solid kid, like bubbly kid. Uh, he's supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, he seemed like just a, a overall solid kid, you know. So no trash talk. I know I had to cancel one fight due to a little injury. He didn't say anything negative. He just, you know, focus on itself so yeah people like just good people you want to see them do well you know and we class today but I look forward to seeing him do well in the future
And one final one, there's two key middleweight fights coming up. You got the title fight between Izzy and Costa, and then Whitaker and Cannoneer was just booked. How do you see those fights playing out? Um, yeah, those, those are some good fights. Uh, Izzy and uh, Costa, Costa's going to come forward and just try to be the bull in that fight, you know, and um, Izzy's going to try to move around and, and pick him apart. So whoever can impose their will, and then you're going to have Cannoneer and Whitaker, they're just going to be throwing hard shots the whole time. So whoever can land that shot, you know, that should, should be who pick up the win. Derek, congratulations on the victory. Just curious, you're sitting back here, the boss man, he was talking about all these bonuses, didn't say your name. Does it bother you? You don't have any extra cash. Hey, it's, it's always like that, you know. I, I meant, I just spoil some parties, you know. So when people a little, you know, I'm not saying, nobody really, it's funny because nobody's really set up in MMA. It's like, okay, I fought him because I wasn't getting it done uh, uh, against the top, so I'm still ranked. I'm good enough at my age to still be ranked. He was surging, so boom, perfect matchup. So they had a lot of hype behind him and expect a lot from him, and when it didn't go his way, maybe Dana Vision a little clouded right now, you know, and um, deservingly so. I mean, they were expecting a lot of big things from him. You know, that's Ronda Rousey's uh, uh, golden boys. So, yeah, it is what it is. Now that you got the victory and you look at this division, what's your pathway to the title? Do you have anyone that you're eyeing, or how do you see yourself holding a gold strap? There's a, there's a lot of good fights to make, you know. Um, Cannoneer Whitaker, that's a good fight, you know. Try to come up on the winner of that fight. Uh, you got Darren Till, I know he just lost, but he has a huge name. Um, you got the BMF belt. A lot of things, you know, I just wanna, I want, I want big fights. I wanna go out here and prepare and, and, and get in these big fights. And lastly, you and the champ have the same haircut. Who wears it better? I wear it better, of course. You know, I'm the most handsome guy of the two. One more. Uh, speaking on you and Izzy, what's the difference between the Derek Brunson tonight and the one that fought the surging Israel Adesanya in New York? Um, just wrong game plan. If you go look at that fight, um, I did it to myself. Um, I'm taking nothing away from Izzy, but I did it to myself. I rushed in and got caught with a knee. I didn't really get picked apart from the outside. I just I was being too predictable with my takedowns. I shot in um, and got hit with a knee, and then I'm trying to fight when I get a little dazed and didn't turn out well. So, you know, uh, I learned from all of my past fights, and I'm ready to move forward.